This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and strengthen, sal and strengthen of our salvation in the fear of the Lord's treasure. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, and Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone. Preach the word, truth, and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim. Scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preach the word, truth, and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. That be like unto the speckled bird. Preach the word, truth, and sincerely. And I'll say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson. On this July the 12th, 2022, at 11.43 a.m. Central Standard Time, on this uh, Tuesday morning in the a.m. And the title of this lesson is going to be, Wisdom and Knowledge Should Be the Stability of Thy Time. Right, so wisdom, knowledge, and understanding should be the stability of thy times. You know, having that uh, stability of uh, right frame of mind, uh, the stability of, of the mind, you know. Having a uh, stable mind of, uh, for what the times we're about to enter into. So having that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the times that we are entering in, which we're currently entering in as well too. But when that times of uh, Jacob's trouble come, you know, we'll have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding be applied to us when that time approaches, you know, because we'll be, because we'll walk with wisdom and we'll walk with knowledge, you know, for uh, righteous knowledge, you know, and the times ahead when we approach it, you know, because we apply uh, to the best of our ability, apply the uh, wisdom and knowledge in our everyday walk of life, in the everyday walk of, uh, and it's truth as well too, you know, like scripture says, uh, be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, so we apply that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, Especially in its truth, you know. So we try our best to like separate from uh, evil things that approach us because we have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding applied to us on our everyday walk of life and the everyday walk in this truth as well, too. You know, continue to grow in this truth with the applying, applying with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You know, as the Heavenly Father set up. The men of Great Millstone, starting with the elders apostles. They've been in the truth for 30 plus years. As the Albashin outside set up men like that to help us, uh, you know, grow in the truth. You know, with meekness, humbleness, and sincerity. And I'm going to look up the uh, definition of stability. You got a big deal that you ain't want to do. I don't need nobody's money. I got black children. I got my own fucking money. Alright, buddy. When I go to the when I go to that bank, I'm on my buddy a bank account. But but Yeah, shit, what I'm gonna hold his money for? That's your man. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for the I can't hold that boy's money. Boy, ass wrong. He he got his own bank card. This is a um, medical paper thing, mom. He said you going out of town. He said, yeah, you go talk. No, I'm going uh, to stay. I'm probably might stay in today again. He said, yeah, because he's going to be hot out there. Yeah. He's going down there. No. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm staying in today. Oh, you're in the dog. You're in the bathroom. Oh, Salaki. I was talking to my family members. Uh, The definition of stability. Right, and I'm going to look it up. Um, stability. Or a stability, which is a uh, noun, the state of being stable. There are fears of a political stability of the area. Similar words, firmness, solidarity, steadiness, right? So having, being able, so being able, the state of being stable, right? Because with that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we apply, to our everyday walk of life and in its truth because continue to grow truly and sincerely meekness and humbleness you know and the fear of the Lord is our treasure you know that's why the beginning of wisdom is is the fear of the Lord which is come beginning of wisdom you know so that's why we constantly continue to grow in this truth and apply the wisdom knowledge and understanding in the times we're entering into in the times that we're currently in as well too 
so we can have that uh, stable mind, you know, because we definitely want to have a stable mind in the times that we're entering into, you know, because wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is definitely important in the times that we are living into, you know. That's why I brought out the scripture, Isaiah 33 and 6, you know. Oh, yes, I ain't taking this book. So, yeah, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding shall be the stability of thy times, you know. So, Lock, yeah, my OG was talking, so I had to close the door. So, uh, back to what I was saying, you know, I'm going to read it again for edification's sake. Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And the script for salvation, right? Because uh, wisdom, knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation, right? Because the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, because we're fighting for salvation, you know? Like the scripture says, uh, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So that's what we're constantly, consistently doing. The way of the work of the Lord, we're applying wisdom and knowledge and understanding. You know, as we bring the scriptures out, continue to learn the precepts, continue to grow in the truth, continue to learn these uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, to the best of our ability, and continue to learn and continue to grow, you know, continue to learn from one another, continue to learn from brotherhood, continue to learn from the elders and apostles, a great millstone, and a great man, and a good man on down in that order, you know, because we are all fighting for salvation, because the fear for the Lord is our treasure, you know, and the strength for salvation, you know, that's why we constantly, consistently fear the Lord to the best of our ability and continue to do the will of the work of the Lord, you know, in the Wadi Abashim al for waking us up in these last days. Because if we ain't know this truth, we would have been lost in the sauce in the world, you know. You know, because we would have been blinded by the light, <laughs> you know, because we would have been blinded by uh, the Israelites that still that they don't know they are the children of Israel. And by the people in the world as well, too. Because, you know, they, they got that blindfold. Because that Heavenly Father took the blindfold off of us to waking us up in the last days. Which is recorded in Romans 13 and 11. For now, it's high time to wake up. Because our salvation is nearer than we believe. Because that's why we're applying these wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And the stability of our times. You know, because we're going to have that, um... <coughs> Salakia. Yeah. Because we're going to have that uh, stable mind. And this, as I brought out the definition, you know, it's the it's the uh, state of being stable. Because we're going to be stable in that time, Lord willing. You know, we be part of that <clears throat> that number, that 144, we fight for salvation. And Lord willing, we be those men to continue to grow in the truth, continue to have that faith. To continue to be uh, stable in the times that we're currently entering right now, in the times that we are going to enter into in the close near future, you know, because you got uh, many, a lot of different things going on. You know, you got the famines, the pestilence, the earthquakes in diverse places, uh, wars and rumors of wars, Jacob's trouble, the MOTB, the hour of temptation. Because when that hour of temptation comes, we're going to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and apply it into our minds. Because our heart, which is our mind, you know, because we're going to apply these things in the times of the hour of temptation once it fully comes in the uh, last days that we're currently living in, you know. So we're going to be, Lord willing, we're going to be stable in those times as long as we constantly could continue to endure, constantly continue to learn and grow in the truth, We're learning the scriptures to the best of our ability, you know, and applying these wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, because that's going to be a definitely most important thing in the times that we're entering into, you know, because once we enter in those uh, rough times, you know, we're going to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding being applied to us. You know, so, uh, so with that, this was just a little quick sit down lesson that I wanted to bring out through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. 
And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekhar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, before I close out the sit down lesson on this July the 12th, 2022, at 11.53 a.m. on this uh, Thursday morning. On, I mean, not Thursday morning, on this Tuesday morning, Slovakia. And uh, like I mentioned before, at the introduction of the sit down lesson, you know, um, hey, in the times that we're currently in right now, in the times that we're about to enter into, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, which is recorded in the book of Isaiah 33 and 6, you know, having that wisdom knowledge and understanding, you know, because we're going to need that in the times ahead that we're currently living into, and may Yahweh Bashanel Shai constantly continue to let us endure with the knowledge that we're going to apply with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, so with that, I would say Shalom and a ball, ball, ball.